Okay, you guys are never going to believe this, but I'm headed to Walmart again. <laughs> the same Walmart. Just come out of the doctor's office and um, proceed about seven tenths of a mile to the Tour Street. Found out what was wrong with me. So it's the shingles. That's why I've been in such bad pain. So I'm not too happy After about one that. half mile, <laughs> turn right onto the Tour Street. But other than that, um, it's weird. I have shingles and I feel better. Uh, better than I did with the, the flu. So, anyhow, we're going to make a pit stop at Mickey D's over here. And then we're going to go to Walmart. I have Tone with me. A homeless person is here. There's a cart full of clothes. I'm gonna go around and look at that again. That can't be what I just saw. It looked like a um, shopping cart filled with clothes or coats or something. I'll have to go around and check that out one after we get our order. Maybe I could help them out like Deborah Joy does and. Um, get them something to eat. It is really cold here. It was a high of 19 today. So I hate to be homeless in this. It might be why they're hanging at McDonald's. Wherever it is. All right, after we get our order, I'll go back around and take a look and see what that car was. See if it's what I thought it was. Look how bright that sunshine is over there. Wow. When we get out around the other side, I'll, it's probably going to be really pretty. I'll take another video of it. All right, we got our food. Now I'm going to go back around here and see what it was that I saw. And yes, there was a cart. There's a real glare from the sun, I guess, from something. But yes, there's a cart of coats or clothes sitting there. I'm not too happy to see that. I don't see anybody around there. I'm gonna go park for us to eat. I can't help wondering who this, who that cart belongs to. We're going to just pull up here and sit here and eat. Ooh, here's what I'm eating. <laughs> this what's for dinner. Okay, there's my tone. There's my tone bone. Say hi. Hi. Are you eating your fries from Mickey D's? Yeah. <laughs> I had to switch cameras. The other one uh, wouldn't hold anymore. We just pulled over here in the parking lot. I missed the rest of the sunset over there. I'm so excited to eat my double. Oh my God. A double quarter pounder and fries. Look, it's almost gone. I haven't had a double quarter, oh, well, I haven't had a quarter pounder in years. And I never, ever get fries, so I'm in heaven. I've got to go eat. Okay. The reason I, uh, I'm just going to leave this picture up is so that I can uh, just talk for a few minutes. I had a few things I wanted to say. Uh, first of all, to be clear, uh, having the shingles is not preferred over the flu. <laughs> what I meant was having the shingles and uh, the flu at the same time, it's, it feels better to be over the flu anyway. Um, this is very, very painful. 
and I don't wish it on anyone. <laughs> um, also, I got overwhelmed at Walmart, and uh, I was just I just overdid it. I had both kids with me. Um, they were misbehaving. It was just hard to keep them under control with me not feeling good, and uh, doing all my own. I always uh, like to go through the self checkout so that I can bag everything myself. And what happens is um, sometimes there's just so much, and it, you know, it's, it takes a long time. So I had asked the guy about whether they had cargo organizers so that I could put my bags down in and not have them fly all over the back of the van like they did the last two times. And um, he said he thought it would probably be available in automotive, but that they were closed, but offered to get me some nice boxes. So he brought over some nice heavy-duty boxes for me, and I rang everything and ba- double bagged, and tied them up, put them down in the boxes. And um, I also had a pickup order um, that I had some things that I paid for for the van online and then they ship it to the local Walmart or whatever Walmart you want them to ship it to and you go and pick them up and they're already paid for. So there was a big, uh, I I keep calling it a pallet, but I don't know what you call it, on wheels that you, um, you know, are able to, you know, transport, you know, a bunch of heavy boxes and items. And so there was four or five boxes on that. And then we went ahead and put these boxes of food and non-food items that I had purchased. And almost the entire way through the order, which was a big order, almost entirely done. I only had a couple left to go. And um, the entire order canceled out. What happened was it kept saying, would, do you wish to continue? Do you wish to continue a hundred times? And I said, Oh my God, I can't take even hearing this again. And it must have said it again, and I didn't hear it. I was probably because I was trying to block it out, and um, and it, I didn't hear it say that. And what it did was it was trying to cancel out my order because I didn't answer it. So um, I didn't realize what it was doing. I called the guy over. I said, It. I think. I think it. I need your help over here. I think this is thinks that I'm trying to cancel an item. So he puts in the key, um, keys in a number, and um, it okayed the cancellation of the entire order. I couldn't believe it. I had to start all over again. So we were hours in Walmart, and that's why I didn't end up doing any more videoing. I just had, you know, was just so overwhelmed with everything. Um, but I, there were a couple things that I wanted to say, and one of them is that um, I did check on the homeless person at McDonald's. I asked an employee about him, you know, if there was a homeless person in there, and she said, yes, there is. And I said, is he eating, or, you know, is he does he have money to eat? And she said, a lot of people buy him gift cards. So he does come in all the time um, to be in the warmth, and he eats. So she said he's here a lot. So I let it go that day, you know, and I went ahead and left. Now, this has been a couple days since I've been able to uh, finish getting this video ready to put up. I just wanted to add this note at the end, and I've had two kids here for a couple days, plus with me, you know, being in this shape in this condition <laughs> with all this pain and everything um it just takes me a while to to get to anything so i have to wait until i'm feeling good so anyway um i let it go but i can't i keep thinking about him and i keep thinking um you know does that man realize does he know or has anyone bothered to tell him that there is a men's shelter in that town so um He's on my mind, you know, it's been extremely cold out, but I'm I'm sick. I'm in a bad way myself here and plus, you know, I don't wanna be exposing everybody. Now the kids have, have been with me all along. Plus they are vaccinated with a varicella vaccine, the both of them. Um, I talked with a doctor about it and he said it would be very, very unlikely for the children to contract shingles. So, 
you know, I haven't, like I said, they've been here anyway, so um, I haven't been able to uh, get back there, but I intend to. I plan to go back and, um, you know, kind of look for them when I'm by myself and um, see if there's something, some kind of help that I can offer. I'm not putting myself in any kind of danger. I see these videos, you know, this one girl at the RTR, or not at the RTR, at the slabs, and I think, oh, my God, you know, doesn't she realize what danger she put herself in? Well, I'm not going to do anything like that by letting him in my vehicle or anything like that, but um, I do intend to make sure that he's aware that there's a men's shelter in the town and um, see if there's some other small way that I can help, um, whether it's directing him to Salvation Army or, um, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I saw Deborah Joy handing out T-shirts and warm socks. I think it was Deborah Joy um, with the socks. And I thought, I don't know. I mean, who knows? When you're in that kind of position... You know, any little thing is helpful. And I kept thinking about what what was it I saw in that cart? What was that? It looked like um, a big puffy coat or coats or something. And then I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if that might have been a sleeping bag or a blanket. Maybe it was something like that. So I don't know. Maybe there's some way, you know, something I can give him along those lines to help keep him warm or, like I said, directing him to, to get some other kind of help. Um through the men's shelter or the Salvation Army or something like that. But, um, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't just forget about them or, you know, forget about that. And the other thing is, just real quick, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers. Um, I know it's taking me a while to do anything with the van. Well, who knew it was going to take me months to even get it once I started this thing? I mean... I put money down. I had four weeks to, you know, to take care of some personal business that I had to take care of before I could go back and get it. And then once I did, um, I had a hard time completing the purchase. And I, I still am not able to get into why until I'm not doing it, until I have my title in my hand. Because <laughs> those people are responsible for getting my title for me. So I'm going to just keep quiet until I have that in my hand. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you to subscribers who are sticking with me. I've lost a few here and there because I guess um, I'm not getting into setting up the van fast enough for some people. And I apologize. I mean, but this is my life and this is my story and this is how it's unfolding. So if you're interested in seeing, you know, how it unfolds for me, then you're sticking with me. So and I and I hope you do. Um, you know I can't go any faster. Uh, these there have been some things that have been outside my control. Uh between not being able to purchase the van as quickly as I would have liked and then also, you know, there were some issues with waiting for you know, money that I was using to purchase a van, some other things, like I said, that I had to get taken care of. Then, you know, fighting with them to buy the van that they had for sale um, and then uh, getting sick and then getting you know, sick with something else on top of that and, you know, um, a relapse of the flu, a relapse of the flu and then the shingles on top of it and then, you know, the shingles. I don't know how long I'll have this. So it's taking me a while. And in the meantime, I thought it would be nice to still put up a video now and then with me, you know, in the van or, um, you know, I've been wanting to do unboxing videos and show you some things that I've been purchasing, along, you know, along the way while I've been waiting, while I was waiting for it. <laughs> and um, And I do intend to do that, but it's taking me some time, so... Anyway, thank you to those who are sticking with me, and um, there will be a lot to come. It's just, uh, you know, this is how it's happening for me. This is my journey.